We are at the Pacific Palisade home of Chris Ursity, the world's first homeowner of the eFuel microfueler. Chris, tell us how it feels. Hi, it's a privilege and an honor to have the very first microfueler here in and at my house. We are uh, we are looking forward to a lot of people knowing what this feeling is like too. Tell me what you have to do as a homeowner to get eFuel. Pretty much nothing. Greenhouse takes care of everything. All I have to know is to turn the machine on, grab the handle and put it in my car, and I'm fueled and ready to go. They handle everything else as far as keeping the feedstock tank full so that this machine can create the fuel. So what are you going to pay for a gallon of fuel? Uh, we're going to be paying $2 a gallon for the next two years. So while the price of gas could go up well over $3, $4, and last summer it was hitting around here to $5, we're going to be at $2. So we're very excited about that. And how safe is it to keep at your home? It's perfectly safe. It's um, a very low heat distillation that's going on here. There's no open flame and it's a um, pretty much like a hot plate from a coffee pot. Now I've heard it's kind of like a wash machine. How so? Uh, it's water in, water out, and it's a 110 plug or 220 plug. Pretty much just like a washing machine. Tell me about the e-fuel microfuel and how it works. Well, the microfueler is a system that's uh, for home or office use. So fuel gets put into here in this tank, uh, then it's delivered over to the microfueler, and then within minutes the microfueler takes this, refines the waste into an ethanol product, uh, cools it off, stores it in a tank, and then the system allows us to come and just basically turn it on, pick up the handle, and pump it right into our vehicles or trucks or cars or whatever, just like you would in a normal gas station. I mean, what's so great about having ethanol? Well, uh, microfuel, for example, has up to 40% more octane in it than regular gasoline. So it's really a superior fuel to gasoline in every respect. It runs cooler. Uh, you don't generate as much heat as you do with running on gasoline in a car, which makes your car last longer. It's really a great fuel. It's all renewable. And what do you hope for your daughter one day? Well, my hope is that the microfueler and greenhouse energy is going to take and integrate this into our lives the same way that um, a microwave came into our world. It was intrusive at first, but it was something that was supposed to make our lives better. And then it became the fabric of how a kitchen is built. The microfueler is going to become a fabric of how a house is built. And we're going to then power our lives through this device that will then give us the power to then run our cars, run our house, run our lives in a way that will be responsible for generations to come so that this planet can actually survive for our children. Is that what you want? Absolutely. All right.